don't miss this video hello everyone and welcome back i am grandmaster nitzan steinberg and today we will see one of my best games against international master gotham chess and i know that you all know him very very good so his real name is levy roseman from the united states of america and today is the most successful youtuber in chess world are you ready to see the match between both of us so come on sit back relax and enjoy the show so you know what before it i really want to show you about my youtube channel because you know it's it's very uh, you know close to my heart so as you can see we have 742 subscribers and 69 videos so you are all welcome to subscribe my channel and also you know to put the ring for all to get notification for any video or live streaming that I'm uploading so you can see your videos and you can see a lot of shorts you can see here a game between me and Ikaru Nakamura the legend and also against Hans Niemann and you can see here a lot of playlists that you are you know it will be very important for you and of course live streaming title Tuesday in leeches and you know just have some fun here so if you like if you like this video don't forget to smash that button button like button of course and also subscribe my channel it's really really important for me so let's start to see our game our game i'm playing with white pieces against a gotten chess as you can see here so it was like two years ago right yes two years ago and I had like 2,900 rating in Chesscom and Gotham Chess has 2,709 so yeah it's you know 200 points it's a lot of points but of course everything can happen so let's see the game so I played the move knight to f3 and you know it seems like I, I, I didn't play for a win because you know I, I just some have some fun and knight f3 is, the, is, is not my uh, main uh, move of course I'm playing the move e4 this is my move uh, but knight f3 I'm playing of course here because this is not real chess of course just blitz game so knight f3 g6 and now e4 I'm coming back to my theory against Gotham chess the legend so e4 bishop g7 d4 and this is the the periods of and uh, defense of course so d6 knight c3 and a6 of course there is knight f6 of course uh, also option for black bishop e3 castle queen d2 and yeah i want just to play bishop h6 h4 h5 and it's really really interesting uh, to talk about this position of course bishop g4 it's very uh, common move knight g5 this is my point i want to play h3 and knight f3 coming back maybe castle long e5 bishop h6 yeah it's, it's really interesting but you know he didn't play it he played the move a6 as you maybe consider to remember this was the start of my game against ikaro nakamura so I played the move bishop e3 as I played against Ikaro, bishop to g4. And this is a very, you know, maybe not an accurate move because in this position b5, this is the plan. Because if you're playing a6, you just want to play b5 with bishop b7, knight d7 and c5. Um, as, as, as we saw in our game against uh, Ikaro Nakamura, I played the move bishop to d3, bishop b7, a4, b4 and now knight b1. To bring him to d2 to play c3 a5 castle h3 and yeah it's it's very nice position you just can see the game between Igaro Nakamura and me uh, and myself of course and it's, it's really beautiful to see uh, I will not say you to you what was the result so bishop e3 and now uh, Gotham just played the move bishop to g4 I just push h3 uh, of course bishop takes f3 because bishop h5 just losing a piece after g4 so bishop takes f3 queen takes f3 and now you know we have two bishops castle long will be the next move maybe and we are very proud of my uh, you know uh, uh, how I got uh, out from the opening of course so he played the move knight to c6 of course the d4 square is under attack just castling long and now he's playing the move e5 and you know in 
when I'm looking on the board now, I thought, why well, didn't play the move bishop to c4? But I think just the problem is that after knight f6, d takes c5, knight takes c5, queen e2, and just can't take the, the bishop on c4, and I will, lo I, I will lose the, um, the advantage of the two bishops. So yeah, bishop c4, maybe it seems very good because, you know, you, you are just developing a piece and also uh, a threatening checkmate on the board, but yeah, but but it's not so nice after knight f6, right? Um, so yeah, I play the move d takes c5, knight takes c5, and now just queen e2 wants to play f4, g4 maybe, and maybe e5 because black is not developed until now, right? Um, so yeah, it seems quite good for me. Knight e7, f4, knight e6. Now maybe bishop c3 is a little bit annoying. So I play the move just queen d2. Like we already uh, understand and learn until now that this move is called prophylactic move, right? Because we understand what black wants to do. He wants to take the grab this knight on c3. We're just defend it with queen d2 so queen d7 you know i think this was a very strong move by my opponent and he just wants to to cast along right cast along and yeah it seems like black is fine because the bishop is quite good the knight is fine the knight is fine and the rooks will be connecting and yeah of course i have two bishops but yeah it's it's not a winning position of course that's it so i play the move g4 with the point maybe to play the move bishop to g2 and also to connect between our rooks. So we play the move castle long, bishop g2 makes a lot of sense and now rook h to e8. Also for me uh, it makes a lot of sense because just bringing the rook into the e file and the rook on h8 was not uh, something uh, very useful for black. So I'm playing the move king to b1, queen e6 and now I'm coming with my rook from h1 to e1. Queen c4. So now let's think about this position. What black wants to do? So he wants to grab this knight. Queen takes, queen takes, b takes, and we will have here two pawns. I'm not sure about these two pawns. Uh, do double, two double pawns, and the position is not so uh, open for my two bishops, right? And my opponent has two knights, so it seems very good for him. Maybe, for example, let's say I'm playing the move, uh, let's say, a3. So bishop takes a3, queen takes, queen takes, b takes. Maybe he can play the move knight a5, b5, knight e to c6, knight c4, something around it. And I'm not sure where I'm putting my two bishops. So, yeah, I'm, play I'm playing the move bishop to f1. So my point was that after bishop takes d3, I just will grab the queen on c4, bishop takes d2, and now just bishop takes d2 with bishop c3 the next move, and these two bishops will, will work together amazingly. So, so yeah, this was my point, bishop f1, he played the move queen b4, and now a3 was played, and of course after bishop takes c3, another time we will take the queen, bishop takes the, my queen, bishop takes d2, and bishop c3, bishop c4 will coming uh, in the next moves, of course, and it seems like a very, very good position for white. So, after a3, uh, Gotham Chess played the move queen to a5 very makes sense for me and now i understand that you know my position is 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 very beautiful maybe but i have some problems with the knight on c3 but how can i solve it so i just going with the knight to e2 and offering exchange of queens because i'm telling myself okay if i'm going to the end game i have two bishops i have the the advantage for the end of the game and you know i i, I will I will try maybe to get this advantage a little bit more and one move by one move and maybe it will um, be good for me. So let's see, queen takes d2, takes with the bishop, now d5. And now I'm playing the move e5. Of course, I just want to, um, to block this bishop from g7 and maybe bishop g2, maybe the next moves, maybe knight g3, bishop c3, something around it makes a lot of sense for me. He played the move g5. I think also f6 was very considerable move because I think just takes, bishop takes, and now knight g3 or maybe bishop h4. Yeah, maybe just bishop to g2, right? It seems, seems good, bishop h4, rook f1, maybe knight c1, knight d3, maybe knight g1, knight f3. But it seems that my advantage will be until of the end of the game because the two bishops and the, the position is a little bit open for me. This end game is, is looks nice for white. 
But he played the move g5. I think his point was just, you know, to crush my center, center pawns. So I take the pawn on g5, knight takes e5, and now knight, just bishop g2. Of course, the threat was to play knight f3, and my rook will be, you know, just useful because I'm losing it. So bishop g2, knight c4 now, his threat on b2, so I'm playing the move bishop c1, knight g6. And now just knight g3. I think it's also a very very strong move because I'm telling him, okay, you know what? I want I want uh, I want to bring the knight to f5, of course, or maybe to h5. Okay, one one second. What about bishop d5? What about this move? Just taking a pawn, right? Oh, but knight b6 because bishop f7 just rook d1, rook d1, rook takes e2, right? So it's not good for me. So I must play the move bishop f3, I think. But now rook takes, rook takes, and knight h4. Knight g1, the only move. Takes, takes. Yeah, it seems quite good for white. You know, maybe bishop d5 was, was a very clever move. I think I missed this one. I had like one and a half minutes on the clock against one and 18 minutes. Uh, 1 minute of course and 18 seconds but but yeah bishop d5 was maybe a clever move for now i notice it right so knight g3 okay rook takes c1 rook takes c1 knight h4 of course our bishop is under attack bishop h1 c6 makes a lot of sense because he wants just you know to um uh, to block this diagonal for the bishop and also maybe connect the rook in the next move because the d5 pawn is now covered by the c6 pawn so i play the move knight to f5 i just want to to remove these two um uh, two double pawns right knight f5 with with the uh, with threat on g7 bishop and also with the, the threat of uh, h4 knight he's taking the, the knight g takes f5 and now it seems very very good king d7 not a good move f6 bishop f8 and now bishop to f3 we are coming into the game with the bishop and now rook e8 is just a losing move i think it is already very very difficult to play uh, by the king uh, by the black side here because you know the knight cannot jump anywhere the bishop seems to be not good and our bishops are very good the rook is doing great job here yeah it seems bad for for gotham chess but he's playing the move rook e8 with 45 seconds on the clock bishop g4 check king d8 taking the, the rook king takes and now bishop f5 and it seems that it's a game over i will win the game but no bishop to d6 bishop takes h7 and now bishop to g3 and you know why what just stop the video now think by yourself how can i win in this game immediately just immediately and i'm i'm really shocked that in this position i didn't found the best move in the position right so the move is just to play g6 g7 is the threat with gh just promoting a queen f takes g6 just bishop takes after king f8 a beautiful checkmate bishop h6 check king g8 f7 check king h8 and now we'll put the rook with checkmate on the board but of course after bishop takes g6 king d7 just i think just f7 right bishop d6 and bishop h6 with promoting a queen and of course a peace up will be for us and we will win this game very very uh, easy after 95 of course bishop f5 and the next move will be a promoting a queen so after bishop g3 i blunder g6 and i play the move bishop to f5 and now it seems not so easy for me he played the move knight d6 bishop d3 c5 c3 king d7 is coming with the king because he, gotham chess knows very well to defend such positions he bringing the king into the center this is what we are doing in end games so king c2 i'm doing it also king e6 bishop e2 i want to bring the bishop to g4 or maybe to h5 in some ways so king f5 bishop g4 on the board king g6 bishop f3 it seems like this diagonal you know, uh, interesting for me, 48 seconds on the clock against 16 uh, of Gotham chess. So 94, now c4 was played, knight g5, bishop takes d5, king f6, bishop b7, 10 seconds on the clock, a5 on the board, bishop e3, the pawn is weak. Oh, sorry, no way, what I did, 
did what I did what I did what I did that's that's coming back oh so sorry 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 bishop takes b7 a5 bishop e3 I'm taking this pawn on c5 but no bishop d6 he's not bringing me this and now h4 h4 I just want to promote the queen knight to e6 h5 is going forward knight f4 is you know, wants to take the spawn on h5, but h6, two seconds on the clock, forgotten chess, bishop d5, f5, bishop d2, king takes h6, bishop takes h a5, what a game, knight takes d5, c takes, king g5, bishop d2 check, f4, king d3, what is doing now, I want to bring the king to e4, but king f5 was played, king c4, what a bad move unbelievable i think just a4 just kicking the, the you know that just going forward with the pawn and it should be game over because after f3 just bishop e3 and yeah it should be game over because this pawn will fall after bishop f4 or bishop g3 and yeah f2 also is not is not afraid at all uh, so yeah king c4 was a mistake because king e4 i'm not sure maybe f3 yeah maybe f3 bishop e3 and now king e4 bishop f2 and now bishop f4 with bishop e3 and now i'm not sure I'm really not sure because for example a4 bishop e3 bishop g3 bishop f4 bishop h4 bishop g5 and yeah it should be a draw right because just if I take I will lose it right the the, the f pawn just will promote so yeah it seems quite bad but he's playing the move king e4 and now also you can stop the video now and think by yourself how can I win this position this really really exciting end game and I tell you I missed the solution. I missed the solution. I played the move a4, but just bishop takes f4, just winning the game on a spot because bishop takes it f4. I think just a4 with a5, a6, and now you know it just game over because bishop c4, c7, just king takes, king c6, b4, and just you know just pushing the pawns to a queen. So so it's quite quite easy I think but unfortunately I didn't have so much time to think and in this position I played the move a4 f3 bishop e1 and now bishop okay, king e3 he played very strong move I think is the only move to draw this game king e3 a5 bishop e7 and this was the mistake I think just to play king e2 bishop h4 and now bishop e7 bishop g3 bishop d6 and yeah it's just a draw because I cannot take this bishop because the f pawn will promote and I will lose the game so yeah it's unbelievable but in this position he played the move bishop e7 and now a6 king e2 bishop g3 and now bishop d6 just putting bishop h4 bishop e7 and I take the bishop f2 a7 f1 and putting a queen and this position is just winning position for me guys and I achieve a win against Gotham Chess the legend and in this position my opponent the youtuber just you know resigned the game and I take the first win against Gotham Chess and I must tell you the one secret I had one more game against him so you must see it don't go anywhere like this video subscribe my channel and see you soon with the second game against the legend Gotham Chess. Bye-bye.